In this first array, a k equals one array, the magnetization direction rotates around once as you go around the circle. Depictions of it often show no field, but that's clearly not the case. You can see these little iron filings standing straight up as we set the bowl of them down inside the ring of magnets. This array kind of mimics a radially magnetized ring magnet, where the north pole is on the outside of the ring and the south pole is on the inside. Instead of no field in the middle, it's actually a complex three-dimensional field shape. Okay, here's the second Hallback array, a K equals two array. This is the interesting one we've looked at in more detail, where the array makes a fairly uniform magnetic field across the middle of the gap. The field direction is pointing in an up and down direction. You can see the iron filings stick together in vertical lines here that show that. Rotate the magnets, and those lines rotate. Okay, here's a K equals three array. This is a quadrupole. And this produces some really interesting shapes where there's four poles kind of sticking out from the center. I guess these things are used in the particle accelerators because the strength of the magnetic field is weakest in the middle and it gets stronger the further you go out. And that's important for something. A K equals four array is similar where the field strength is weakest in the middle and strongest at the edges but it has six poles instead of four. I guess that's a septipole. It's a little hard to see, so we poked around in the fines for a little bit, and you can see it kind of like a snowflake. Definitely does make six points sticking out. There's that snowflake image. 